I had watched Teresa play when she was at Immaculata, so I knew what a great player she was. Teresa was a competitor. Her reputation was that she was a fierce competitor, that if she was going to participate, she was going to try to win. She was always classy. Watching Teresa play was, was the first time I saw a powerful woman. She was Bill Walton. She was as dominant as any college player that played in her era. The most dominant player of her generation. She, she always wore that scowl on her face. I asked to go watch him play, the, the Mighty Max. My father took me and I can remember sitting behind the bench and watching her and I thought to myself, wow. Sometimes she would play with us, you know, against other guys. And, you know, I remember her pushing guys and shoving guys, and I don't think they knew how to react back then, because women weren't really supposed to be playing basketball with men back then. She played the game like a guy, which is a comp was a compliment to you at that time. But I just remember Teresa being like one of those ridiculously hard-nosed, like no nonsense per person, both coaching and playing. Teresa, in my mind, was the counter to the female stereotype of an uh, that was in vogue as an athlete. She was the team sport player. She was the big kid, the woman of substance and muscle and skill between you know, Serena and Chrissy in tennis. Sports Illustrated came out and referred to Teresa as the female Bill Walton because he was playing at the same time at UCLA. Just a totally dominant player who could do everything, made her teammates better, great shooter. I just love the skill that she possessed. I don't think at that moment, like in seventh grade, that I thought, ooh, skill. But looking back on it, I think she was one of the most skilled big players uh, there, that, that I've ever seen. She was this new generation of uh, prototype of the female athlete, and she took us there. She had the perfect shot. She really, she really did. And like I said, unbelievable competitor, and really the most clutch player I remember during that era of college baseball. Patty and I would go to all our games. My thought was, wow. I want to be like her. I want to be able to, to change, um, change the game. And I thought she really changed the game. Never saw anyone as powerful as she. Teresa Grintz was perhaps the greatest center that there is, has been. Has she been recognized for that? No.